All right, I've got a lot to show you, so let's see how quickly we can get through these. These are 17 gallon galvanized tubs. Um, I love those things. They're pretty big and they're cheap and they're useful. They're, they're just rock. Um, so this is a lemon squash. I grew from seed. Most everything's from seed. So that means that one's the black beauty squash. So this one's lemon squash, small lemon looking fruit, um, summer squash, black beauty. That's more of a traditional um, zucchini. Here we have Jerusalem artichoke, also called sunchoke right there. Um, and those I grew from tubers, so not from seed. Um, the pumpkin, those are the little baby pumpkins, that, like the little three, four inch pumpkins for my little girl. We were able to grow those in a five gallon container, so I'm growing two of them in a 10 and a half gallon container. This one is a sugar pumpkin. This one's called Winter Luxury. This is a sugar pumpkin. I've never grown pumpkin before. Now I have two of them. A couple of um, figs I grew from cuttings transplant. These are both potatoes that I grew from true seed. So not like people say seed potato, they mean like a good quality potato. These are from true seed. I mean, they're still flowered. They still plants, they're still gonna make flowers. Um, and that's what I think is actually unique about these right now is that they're producing flowers. That means they're getting mature and there's tubers forming. I think there's two in this one and one in this one, but there's flowers all over them. These are in 10 gallon grow bags. Two different kinds of sweet potato. I started this one before this one, um, and then the dog got into this one too, so it's behind and dog damaged. This one is Korean gold. This one is something with purple in the name. Did I put the names on these yet? Korean gold. Oh, lilac beauty lilac beauty it has purple flesh um, here and here I have honey nut squash so it's that hybrid it's that butternut hybrid personal size hybrid I have two of them that are gonna go up on this 4x8 uh, cattle panel in the well here let's stay in the pots uh, I have a tomato coming up inside another 10 gallon pot this one's also from seed again most everything's from seed um, sun gold. I have a nectarine that I had shipped to me. That's a tree that I didn't start from seed, but the tree next to it, I did start from seed. Literally, I started this apricot from seed a year and a half ago, from pit a year and a half ago. Now this is this beautiful tree. Let's look at this raised bed. Um, these two pepper plants are sugar rush striped, so they produce a larger pepper that's hot it's spicy spicier than a jalapeno but it's striped it's yellow and red striped so it's gonna be really cool looking i'm saving some space for other stuff but up here close i have a tomatillo a verde tomatillo i have a row of small sunflowers those are gold gold coin sun star, uh, sunflowers i have one square foot so that's four little gem lettuce heads i have four there's one two three you can see there hold on where are they one, two, three, and then there's one hiding behind there, but it's getting good sun. Did different basils I planted from seed. Up on my trellis here, I have a winter squash. This is black futsu. It's not really vining as much as I thought it would be, but there's the, the tendrils. It wants to vine. I have two tomatoes in here. Um, I forgot what this, this one I traded for this one. Solar flare. And then Super Sweet 100 on that side. My herbs, rosemary, and oregano. Look how thick the stem on this tomato is. It's like as thick as my thumb. It's humongous. That one's Castelluda Genovese. I also have Lemon Boy and Orange Peach. Then I have two Boston Pickling Cucumbers for the last square foot coming up. We have Lemon Balm. Yeah, Lemon Balm, Peppermint, Spearmint, and Stevia. Oh, there's none in bloom right now, but this is a really pretty pink dandelion. It's not our normal uh, North American dandelion. This is a pink and yellow one. It's super pretty. More lettuces, two different kinds of beets that are sprouting. I'm doing the square foot method so I can sit 16 per square foot. 16 yellows, you can see there are the golden boys. You can see them with the yellow stem. 
um, and Silk Cinderella, so it's like a cylinder shaped beet. Two more basils. I grew four. I have two each of four different kinds of basil that I started from seed. Emily basil is more of a Genovese sty style. Sweet Thai basil. I also have a lemon basil and a cinnamon basil. And I just topped all four of these, all eight of them yesterday. So I'm hoping they bush out. I took off the top a little bit of growth on all of them. I just planted radishes that haven't popped yet. I have four or five different kinds of eggplant, all started from seed. One of them in the back, it's kind of outgrown it, but it was getting munched on the earwigs. Um, there's one more tomato back here. This might be a repeat. Yeah, it's a sun gold, but it's a popular one, so I wanted two of them. I might have to put another thing on this to make this, this go taller. I have another zucchini back here, except for something's eating it. See, there's some damage in this. I think it's earwigs. I have an earwig trap. So who knows if this one will make it. I have two different figs in wine barrels, half, uh, half wine barrels. And well, first of all, this is the beta breda crop. This one produces two crops. So this is the old one. But look, the new ones are just popping up and they're all over the place. So we're going to have lots of figs. Super excited. This is the first full year we've had these. So last year we got a few figs, but that's the year I transplanted them. So they weren't doing as hot. This one was under a lot more stress because of the way it was dug up, but it's starting to form figs too. So the other one was the Olay de Bordeaux. This one is a Nero 600M. Another tomato in the corner. Blackberries that are forming up. We're gonna have a lot of blackberries. Golden raspberries that won't produce yet. More garlic that I haven't har harvested. I went kind of overboard over here and over here with garlic. Then I also stuck some in the spring in here. Pomegranate, avocado, and mandarin tree are all just doing okay. They're all new bare roots. They're not producing anything. Let's come over here. Passion fruit's a little yellow. I don't know why it's so yellow. I fertilized plenty. I'm not sure what's going on. It gets plenty of water. Um, maybe too much water. I don't know. Either way, there's fruit all over it. It might be yellow, but there's tons of fruit. Beautiful flowers. Lots of immature fruit. This thing's going all over. So this cattle panel is eight feet tall, four, eight, 12 feet wide, eight by 12 feet. I started just with one little transplant, one little cutting that I rooted over here and it spread over the entire thing. Blueberries are coming in, but also the birds figured it out. So I finally had to put bird netting up. I watched one beautiful bird. I have to look it up. I forget what kind of bird. But he was swooping in and eating all the ripe blueberries. Some of these are ripe. I bet you we could eat some of these. I'll wait till my daughter gets home in an hour or so. How pretty those are. I planted all sorts of, um, a couple different kinds of nasturtium. nasturtium. I always mispronounce that word. Whatever these beautiful flowers are. Um, I planted a vining type. So I planted one here and one here. And this one really took off. It's going around the corner. I have to make sure it stays out of the box. I don't think I talked about all my peppers. My peppers are doing pretty good. Almost too good. Too good because three of them now, three, two, three, three of them have toppled over on their own weight. So I've just started staking a few. Two of my bell peppers back here tipped over, and I'm not saying there wasn't a critter involved, but it, I don't know. So one reason or another, two bell peppers tipped over and were killed, and one shishito was tipped over and killed. So I replaced this one, one of the shishitos with a store-bought pepper. Same thing with one of the two bell peppers in the back. Um, yeah, but what do I have to say? All the peppers are doing great. Can we find you some peppers? Like, look how big some of these peppers are. I'm getting a lot of peppers in here. Look how beautiful these peppers are. Which one is this one? Anaheim? No, this is poblano. Look how many poblanos we're ending up with. Over here, this is a, um, lots of peppers over here. That's a type of paprika. I have four paprika plants of two different varieties. So, which other ones have I talked about? Habanadas, I've discovered I finally do have the habanada in there. Look how cute that little guy is. 
I thought these plants were doomed. These weren't doing very well. They're still not. I think they needed more heat. As it's getting hotter and hotter, they're doing better and better. So maybe this one just needed more heat than the rest. So habanada, poblano, shishito, one of them's destroyed. Here's my poblano. I knew I had poblano. But poblanos aren't putting out the peppers yet. They're getting big and beautiful and there's flowers and buds, but not really producing pods yet. Then I have the paprikas I was talking about. One, two, three, four, two, one kind over here, and one kind over here. And they are doing well also. There's a bunch of paprikas. I think they're on the other side. Yeah, super stoked. Things are doing well. I can't forget my artichoke because I'm super proud of this thing and it's humongous. I started with just one small artichoke in a one gallon pot from the local Ace Hardware Nursery or Lace Gar Ace Garden. Um, I've harvested and ate a bunch, but we wanted to see the flower. They're gonna be beautiful flowers. Like this is a tertiary. This wasn't even a first or secondary. So this is a huge av uh, avocado, um, artichoke. And I think I'm just gonna let a bunch of them go to flower because they're beautiful when they go to flower. I've seen them at farmer's markets and online, but never my own. So I might just let the rest go to flower, chop the whole thing back because I have several pups under here. That's how it's spreading. It's gonna get bigger through these pups that it's spitting out on the side. So let these go to flower, chop down the main one, and let the pups thrive. I almost forgot strawberries. Strawberries all are on our deck, so it's easy to forget sometimes. Here's the alpine strawberries. I have a whole bunch of these. I grew these from seed. Um, I was hoping I'd find some fruit quicker. Oh, there's one. So there's smaller fruit. This one's actually ready to pick. Popped right off. Um, the smaller fruit, this one could have actually been picked yesterday, but they are delicious. Mm. Oh, ma'am. It's like the flavor of two or three larger strawberries crammed into that one little bite. Much, much more intense. Not nearly as sweet, but much more flavorful. So these are Alexandria strawberries. Oh, here's a couple more over here. I'll leave those for my kid and wife when they get home. Alexandria strawberries. My wife, that's my wife's first name. We, we call her Drea, but Alexandria is her name, and that's the variety. We also have seascape strawberries, like the traditional ones, ever bearing in one of these green stock towers. And this thing always has a ripe strawberry on it somewhere. Look how delicious that looks. I pulled that off bad, but whatever. Mm. Yeah. Super proud of this.